The FAV Creative Icon has 37 needle positions. Now, before I show you that, I'm gonna just change the screen real quick from a white color to something a little bit easier to see. If you need to see something uh, showing up, touch the icon with the little gear that goes into your settings menu. You'll see sewing settings, embroidery settings, and then machine settings. In the machine settings, if you pick something a little bit darker and then touch okay, you'll notice that your stitches and the items you pick are going to be white on that dark background. So I'm going to show you uh, a few things on that darker background just so it's a little easier to see. So when you are looking for needle positions, start by touching stitch edit. We'll start with the straight stitch because that's the easiest. And as you plus, you're going to notice the increments are so small. Why in the world do you think you would need 37 needle positions? Well, here's the thing. When you start working with decorative stitches, top stitching, you will find that having that many needle positions is going to be a lifesaver. And it's a privilege, actually. Most machines don't have that many needle positions. And then those are the people that wish they did have all the versatility that this machine has. So here's a couple things. Number one, when you're on a straight stitch, you're going to move it around. When you want to get back to the center, instead of minus, 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 all the way until the number turns back to white, if you go back up to your stitch menu and reselect that stitch, this one being number one, it will clear out anything you've done to that stitch. So it went back to the 0, 0.0 needle position. So depending on which way you go, if you go to the left, you get minus numbers. If you go to the right, you get positive numbers. So whichever way you go. Now, I want to show you, let's just kind of zip over to a decorative stitch. I don't know which one I'm going to, but I am going to pick one that would make sense. Okay, so let's just pick from that menu. Now, right here, when we have the stitch edit menu up, you'll notice that this stitch comes up at a full nine millimeters wide. So there's no room to move it side to side, but let me show you something else that comes up. See right below this zigzag icon here, there's two dots, a green dot and a gray dot. When you touch the gray dot, it goes to needle position. Now, there's nothing to move because it's at its fullest, but watch this. If we reduce this down to say a six millimeter wide decorative stitch, then touch the needle position option. Watch the stitch on the screen. If I move it to the left, I'm shifting it like left justifying as far to the side of the foot as I would be able to go. If that stitch was narrower, I would be able to move it even further. So there's a time and place to be able to shift a decorative stitch within its foot area, but if it is at the nine millimeter wide stitch width, you'd reduce it down so you would have that versatility. Not all stitches are that full. When you go into like a blanket stitch or something else, you will find that those stitches are a little bit narrower when you start off and then moving needle positions makes a lot more sense. So like a blanket stitch here going left or right. If you don't want the screen up, just touch stitch edit and then you have the full screen to stitch from and yet still all those stitch options at your fingertips.